um, we are answering a question. So I'll say, for example, often we're figuring out what is the maximum length uh, to run a cable for a certain voltage drop. So what we will first do, and I'm going to make you a, a we're going to make together a flow chart here that'll help you really just be able to solve any problem to do with voltage drop from the Canadian Electrical Code if you go through this. So what you first do is you go to our famous table, table D3, which was new in the Canadian Electrical Code here in this edition of 2024, but it's not a scary table actually. We're gonna to go to table D3, and a lot of the information about table D3 is in the notes. So look at note one, and note one explains sort of what we do with this table, and it all boils down to this, a formula. I have lots of videos about this formula and what's in this formula and what it means and everything, but I like to solve every voltage drop problem, whether it's about maximum length or, um, or anything, um, with this formula. It's not specifically put in table D3 notes in this format or with, but you know, if you read the whole thing, then it does have all of these units. So you can look at my other videos if you want an explanation, but 1000 times meters per kilometer is, um, takes, it, it, it takes into account, it changes your units properly. And I can show you soon after I write the whole equation. So 1000 times voltage drop in volts is equal to K, but at, that has to be derated. So I like to put some subscript, subscript to remind me that it's derated by note three, a factor that is described in note three. And then, and that has the units of ohms per kilometer. And then that's multiplied by a little factor F that is described in note two of table D3. And then we multiply that simply by the current, which is in amps. And we multiply that by the length, which is in meters. So you see here that our units, our units are in um, kilometers here and meters here. And this is just a conversion between kilometers to meters so that our, our formula works out and all of our units work out. So this, if you will, trust me that this formula is all you need for any voltage drop problems. This basically describes the relationship that is in table D3 and table D3 has basically the K value for this relationship to work out. All right, now, um, now I am going to, again, look at note one. So I have this formula, then I'm gonna look at note one and that's gonna help me calculate voltage drop. All right, so from note one, it shows you how to calculate voltage drop. And what it says is that um, the voltage drop in volts, which I see right here, V drop in volts is equal to the voltage of your problem or your situation in volts times the drop which is measured in percent. And I'll just give you an example. It might be something like this. Voltage drop is going to be equal to 120 volts times, let's say you want a drop of 2%, it would be 0 0.02. That's just an example for you. Okay, so you put your drop into, you put your percent into a decimal format. Okay, and that's the voltage that you're gonna use. It's gonna be your voltage times that, percent in decimal format. All right, so now you have that for your form formula. And then another, a next, a next nice step would be to um, calculate or find, because you usually know what current you're working with, load current. All right, and that's, that's your A, oh, oops, that's your I in that's your I in this formula measured in amps. So that's here, I measured in amps. 
So now I have voltage drop and I have current. All right. Then um, maybe, oh, and we already know what this is. This is just a thousand. So we don't need anything there. Uh, so now let's go and um, find the K value. All right. That's always fun. That's what's sitting in table D3. Find K value. All right. So that is in table, table D3. All right. Now, in order to do that, we need to know a few things to get the K, K factor. So we have to know the, we go to table D3, and then we have to input power factor. Power factor, we have to know um, conductor size. All right, so like four gauge or whatever, the size of your conductor. And we have to know material. Is it copper or is it aluminum? So I'll just do a little example here. It could be copper four gauge um, power factor equals unity, if you want. Okay, that's just a little example. And then from there, you um, just pull the factor from the table. And we call this K. Okay, pull, and I'm not going to say the factor, I'm going to say pull the K from the table. But that is not K um, derated, right? Um, because remember, look, we, that's just K. But now we have to derate it by note three. Uh, what color do we want to do note three in? Let's see. Uh, let's um, do that in yellow. So we have to derate it by note three. So now we're going to derate by note three. Okay, so note three says that if it is 60 degrees, you do something. If it is 75 degrees, you do something. If it is 90 degrees, you do something. And what's in the table is actually just the 75 degree case. So here is your factor that you multiply K by. And since the table itself is for 75 degrees, then I'll say multiply by one. Unity. I'll say multiply K by one. Okay, if it's 90 degrees, you'll multiply it by 1.05. If it is 60 degrees, then you're gonna multiply K by 0 0.95. So, it's a little bit silly. I think it really should be, you know, another thing on here. It should have like K times a factor of note three times a factor of note two, but it's not really like that. It's just like K derated by a factor. Maybe I should, should redo this equation and have it differently. But anyway, K has to be derated by note three. So now we get K derated by note three. I'm going to, whoa, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to then put these in here and say, um, calculate K derated three is equal to K from the chart. Then it's multiplied by factor three which we got from here, 0.95 or 1 or 1.05. 
So now that we have K and it is derated, we go to note two in table D3. And note two says that if it is three wire, line to line, no ground or four wire grounded, then F in our equation will be 1.73. All other installations, F is two. Usually F is two. And that's how we do the voltage drop calculations using table D3 in the 2024 electrical code. So now we've done, oops, we've done 1000. We know that. We know the voltage drop. We could find K and derate it accordingly. According to temperature, we can find F um, from our notes. It's usually two. We know the current that we're working at. And we can solve, by rearranging this equation, solve for uh, what is the maximum length. Or you can do any number of calculations if you just rearrange this in a different manner. So was this helpful? Let me know. Press the like button, please, if you do think it's helpful. If you don't think it's helpful, you can comment and let me know what do you really need to know. And also check out all of my examples on this. I think I have about maybe 10 examples about doing voltage drop. Thanks so much for watching.